Speaker Solix is a home battery system that uses traditional or grid-tied solar panels to power your home. The system can also provide backup power during outages, and having just endured the massive hurricane barrel power outage in Houston motivated me to install it. Now to the devastating impact of barrel across Texas. This tropical storm is different. It is still lashing the Lone Star State, and power has been knocked out to millions, and flooded roadways have left drivers in need of rescue. We are here in the eye of this storm. 36 people died, not from the hurricane, but from the power blackout that followed. We were lucky. We just endured 10 very uncomfortable days. Here's how the Anchor Solix works. The Solix home power panel can draw power from the main panel, your home's main panel, to charge the F3800 batteries. During a power outage, a sub-panel connected to the home power panel can power up to 12 circuits for backups. You choose what gets backed up. We chose the air conditioning and heating, refrigerators, my home office, and the laundry room so my wife can finish the load if the power outage occurs mid-wash. Your priorities are likely different. Sergio, my electrician, and I will take you through each step of the process, culminating in a demonstration of the system keeping our home running during a power outage. Before starting, we studied the manual thoroughly. Safety first, shut off the power, a move that was painful for me since we had only just gotten power back a couple of days ago. Next, we planned the installation. We had to find an indoor location for the battery. The problem was that my main panel was on an exterior wall and directly behind it was a bedroom. The many videos I watched made it look easy. The homes have panels in the garage and the unit can be set next to it. In real life, your service panel may not be in the ideal location. I sacrificed a closet and turned it into a utility cabinet to make the installation work. First, we had to install a sub-panel. This is the panel where we remove 12 circuits we want to back up. In my case, the AC furnace, two refrigerators, a freezer, my office computer, and the washer dryer. We had a few circuits left, so I added the master bedroom and two spares for, who knows, something in the future. Since we had to go through the exterior brick wall to get to the interior closet, we decided to use an outdoor junction box and make the connections there so they looked a little neater. Next, we mounted the home power panel. Then we ran the conduits to our junction box from the box to the sub panel and into the main panel. Then comes the hard part. After identifying the circuits to move, we had to take the main panel apart and run cables to the sub panel. The videos I watched made this step look easy because the demos always involved one or two circuits. It's not easy. It's time consuming and if you run up to 12 circuits, it can be hard to pull the cable through the conduit. Don't be fooled. This is not an easy DIY installation. Connecting the home power panel to the main electrical panel is critical. The Anchor Solix home power panel is not an inverter. It's a portable power station that can power almost any appliance and has a 3,840 watt hour capacity and a 6,000 watt AC output, which means one battery can power your whole house for a couple of hours or selected circuits such as refrigerators and a few lights for about a day. I have two F3800 batteries to start, and the system allows you to connect each F3800 to six supplemental Anchor Solix BP3800 extension batteries. This expands the basic F3800's capacity from 3.84 kilowatts to 26.9 kilowatt hours, which is enough for a week. In short, the system can provide backup power for essential home appliances during extended outages. With two F3800s and a full complement of expansion batteries, I'd be set with essential services for about a two-week power outage and, out of pocket, about $25,000. If I had the money, I wouldn't go that route. I would install a natural gas power generator for this price so I would never have to worry about the power running out. 
During Hurricane Ike in 2008 here in Houston, some of my neighbors lost power for 16 days. My setup with two F3800s and the home power panel cost about $6,500 and the electrician's time added another $600. Of note, you can also charge the power stations with solar cells, and Solix sells a large capacity solar cell accessory for an additional $1,799. I may add this later on, and the whole battery concept makes a lot more sense with solar. So let's install these puppies. I recommend hiring a licensed electrician to handle the installation to ensure compliance with local electrical codes and regulations. According to Anchor, the installation does not require a building permit, but this does not mean it's an easy job. Although my electrician, Sergio, had never installed an Anchor Solix, he had installed other backup systems and had a good sense of how it all worked. We read and reread the manual, which is not written as clearly as possible. We consulted videos, various videos, and then went through the installation step by step, double checking every connection. A word of caution, some videos you'll see make the installation look deceptively simple. One says you can do the whole job in less than two hours. This is not so, it took us six hours. First, we installed the panels, the sub panel and the home power panel in their place. Next, we ran the conduits that we'd use to pull the wire. To make the installation neater, we used a junction box at the junction between the exterior and interior walls. Next came the hard part, segregating the circuits, identifying the wires and running them to the sub panel. Because my panel's wiring was about as neat as a rat's nest, Sergio had to take the main panel apart and reorganize the wiring. We transferred the circuits I wanted backed up to the sub panel. Then it came time to pull the wire over to the home power panel. This connection was simple. Once all the connections were made, it was time to say a little prayer, turn the power back on and configure the system settings. The app comes with a self-testing feature, which I ran. Unfortunately, it returned an error code. Ah, the fix was easy. We had installed the CT or current transformer ports backwards. These just sort of plugged in. So I unplugged them, switched them, and then the system tested out successfully. Now for the moment of truth. I shut the power off to the house. The Anchor Solix F3800 battery pack seamlessly takes over, keeping everything running without the lights even flickering. And yes, the refrigerator too, it's still functioning and cooling. And this is where we really had some problems having lost the full content. I come inside, the first thing I see is my computer. It's still on working. The thermostat, the whole heating and air conditioning system, it's still working. While this reliable backup system won't get us through a 10-day power outage, it will ensure we never have to worry about the fairly frequent and unexpected short-term power outages that we suffer in Houston pretty frequently. Over time, I'll add the BP3800 expansion batteries and solar cells. One nice thing about the Anchor system is that you can build it incrementally rather than shell out a huge amount of money simultaneously. Now, I'm not an electrician and this video is from a homeowner's point of view. The F3800 has many uses such as a job site power supply, a computer UPS, power for an RV. For the best review of all the unit's capabilities and limitations and info on selecting solar panels for the unit, check out Jason's review at Jasonoid Solar Power our batteries and more. See the link on the show notes below. Thank you for joining us on this installation journey. The Anchor Solix battery backup system provides our home peace of mind and an uninterrupted power supply. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please comment below. I will answer. And if you live in the Houston area and decide to set up an Anchor Solix system, don't hesitate to call Sergio Martinez. He's very reasonable and he does know how to install it now. ¿Cómo te llamas? Sergio Martínez. Sergio Martínez. ¿Y eres electricista? Sí. ¿Profesional? Sí. ¿Licenciado? Certificado. Certificado. ¿Y qué te... Uh, hoy instalaste este, este sistema de, de, de backup, de anchor, ¿no? De batería. Sí. ¿Qué te pareció la instalación en el sentido del de equipo en sí? Es, es simple para instalarse. No, al primer momento pensé que era algo complicado. 
pero trabajándolo se me hizo, se me hizo, se me hizo algo fácil, algo sencillo y, y creo que es, a futuro sería un, una, una herramienta muy grande a como estamos hoy en día. ¿Has instalado otros sistemas de, de generador? De generador, sí. El generador tradicional. <risa> Pero ese sistema es muy diferente, este está más, más sencillo. Este es más sencillo, más sencillo. mucho más sencillo. Sí. Es decir, es, es más, es más este, eficiente este sistema para instalar. Creo que sí, es más eficiente, más sencillo para instalarse, mucho menos costoso para, 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 el, para el dueño de la casa, para el propietario de la casa. Espero que sí. <risa> para que funcione todo al 100%. Espero, sí. este, y... ¿Qué te parece la idea de tener una batería en lugar de un generador? No, está bien. Me imagino que es más, más cómodo, más movible, porque lo podrás mover a donde, a donde tú quieras sin la necesidad de... El generador está estancado, está sí. es, es fijo, ese es más movible. Es, menos, es más limpio, ¿no? Menos ruido, menos... Sí, este, sí. Bueno, ¿harías otra instalación? Sí, claro. ¿Y lo instalarías en tu sí. casa o preferís un generador? No, sí, sí. en lugar del generador voy a eso. Vas a eso. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative videos. Until next time, stay powered and stay safe.